<laughs> uh, good evening. Welcome to this Wednesday night edition of Feedback. I'm Mark Desvitakis. You know, you're writing all the time. You're writing your checks out. You're writing just things at, at work or at school. Uh, but have you ever stopped to think about that a little bit? What does your handwriting say about you, and what can it say about those you care about? Tonight we're going to be speaking with a handwriting analyst about that. Stay tuned. Feedback starts now. Good evening. As uh, I said, welcome to this Wednesday night edition of Feedback. We're not going to be with you here tomorrow night. The Autumn Leaf Parade is going to be re-aired. We'll talk to you about that uh, later on the show. But thank you for joining us tonight. Uh, as I said, we're writing all the time, uh, writing checks, writing things for work. Uh, but but what does what you're writing, how you're writing, say about you? Joining us tonight is uh, Anthony Fagnelli, the, the author of, of the book, Teen Suicidal Tendencies is Revealed Through Handwriting. Thanks for joining us. It's a pleasure for me to be here. I'm so, glad to be here. And I would like to tell you, or the audience, that my purpose in writing this book is to save and salvage a life from self-destructing. Of course, after the fact, it's easy for people to say he or she did away with self, but us lay people need to know of before the fact. That's why my, that's what my book is about, to give the people a way to know beforehand of the developing and emerging depression, then the life can be saved by having the writer seek out treatment and care by professional people or help from any suicide prevention center. How can people detect the handwriting that is sad, dejected, despondent, depressive and towards self-destructive. I'd like to show you this two segments of writing. If you can see this writing. Okay, you can go ahead and talk about what they should have It's there. going downhill. The, whole, the entire crux of the depressive mood of the mind of the writer is when the mind sags, the hand while writing will also sag. You take a look at that handwriting and the writing is going down to where? to sadness, to dejection, and to a forlorn attitude, a woe is me, weary attitude. This is the first warning signal <clears throat> that the writer is giving to family members that the writer is headed for depression, despondency, and possible suicide when the writing goes down. Let me, let, let me ask you something. You know, first of all, explain to me here what is this idea of grapho analysis? How, do, how does this come about that uh, you can look at that and say what you just said? How can we come about that, Mark? Is over 50,000 empirical studies since the year 1619. Handwriting has been around mm -hmm. that many years. Started in Italy by famous scientist Camillo Baldo. 50,000. The first time that downhill writing was detected as the suicidal tendency was in the year 1919 by Dr. Max Clegg in Germany, transferred over to this country, then in 1929. But when the writing is going down, it is irrefutable evidence that the mind is also approaching weariness, sadness, dejection, away from sensibility and away from stability. That's what my book is about. So, uh, the, the book, like you're saying, that's what generally what we're going to find in the book, but obviously you've been studying this for well, years. 35 years, and I'd like to say that my studies for 35 years are ex exhaustive, <coughs> intense, detailed, and in-depth. Therefore, nobody is going to have a chance to accuse me of 
just having a smattering of more right right so uh, but m m maybe my question mainly here is how, how has this all been compiled over all these years it just seems because I was t saying to you before the show you know I really didn't wasn't aware that yeah. this even existed and this was a science out there what brought this to the forefront and, and what made someone say hey if someone writes a letter like this or writes their sentence like this this might mean a greater amount of empirical studies. I'll give you an excellent idea. Can I have your pen? Sure. When you see the focal point of expression of mankind is the mouth. The letter A and O represents the mouth. When the letter A and O are closed. Shut up, there you go. Okay. The mouth is closed. When you examine the writings of somebody that you know, when the A and O are closed, the mouth is closed, and now you're looking at the writing of a person who has the ability to keep secrets. Again, Mark, over 50,000 empirical studies were made in 20 years regarding the letter A and O. Conversely, other studies were made when the letter A and O is open, the mouth is open. If you say to this open letter A and O, I want to tell you something. Keep it to yourself, forget it. The person who writes with the letter A and O open, the mouth is open, they will, will fail to keep the secret. And these studies were brought from Switzerland to Germany, to Italy, to Spain, and mostly and largely coming into this country in the year 1929. Our school is located in Chicago, and that's the only school that gives this course of instruction anywhere in the world. Okay, so you've kind of basically taken this broad wealth of knowledge and, and kind of compacted it to say, look, there's some warning signs out there. There's some way that you can say, you know, watch out yes. just by looking at this book. Yes, and what we're going to watch out for by looking at the book is for, pardon me, downhill handwriting. As I said before, now, let me go through an important detail here. Mm -hmm. Show it to this camera really focus it up. Okay. When the writing is downhill drastic and severe, that is the family's first indication that this writer needs immediate care, treatment, and attention by people who are schooled and knowledgeable to prevent self-destruction. When you see a handwriting down, shaky, and tremulous, and excessively down, the mind as sad to such a degree, almost the writer is losing the will to write. And in life, when we lose the will to write, we almost lose the will to live. I'll give you an excellent example if I can. Sure. When I'm going to write no signature, there's no signature. If I ask a de severely depressed, despondent person to pen their signature, our signature is the greatest means we have of self-identification. If we refuse to believe that we exist, we will refuse to write our signature. That is an ex extreme mm. dangerous sign for a, a father or mother or uncle or aunt to know of a family sibling. Look, they, don't, they are refusing to write their signature. Now, I would like to give another point. Look at this. This is one of the greatest findings of all time, I'll write T O N Y. Another severe sign of a depressed, despondent mood. You see those X's? Those X's are not the type of X's we put on love letters. X means out, you know, X out, exit, get out. Right. This person wrote their signature and they refused to believe that they exist. So what they did is they placed X's in, around, on top, and at the bottom of their signature to X themselves out of the picture of life. Now, you need supporting evidence to support your contention, like a policeman said. Mm -hmm. You need supporting evidence to support your contention to make this arrest. Now watch this. Now, that same writer, in addition to putting X's through their signature. Now they put lines through their signature and they lined themselves 
out of the picture of life. Now you have a double dose of an overwhelming desire for self-destruction. X out of life and line self out of life. This part of handwriting is proven back in your through these 50,000 empirical studies in the year 1919. So, well, let's say that there's some parents at home that, that they see some other signs that, that maybe their, their, their children are committing uh, things, meaning suicide or something, you know, god awful like that. Are, are you suggesting that you sit them down and say, please write a sentence for me, or should you be taking and looking at things they've already done and then comparing it to the Both. book? How Both. Because it would be easier for a professional skilled analyst to have prior writing, that would be before the depressed person begins to talk funny like I'm going to cut my throat mm -hmm. or I'm going to get a gun and shoot myself and then have the very latest up-to-date writing. You could actually go back to prior writing and see when the very first indication was of sadness developing in that person's character makeup. Now I'm going to show you something just very amazing but accurate, detailed, and true. When you see a letter especially the A and O. Now I want you to take a nice look at that letter A and O. Do you see that letter A and O is below that line? That line represents the belt line of life in the letter A and O are sagging down. Mm -hmm. What does that reveal? Minor sadness, minor worries, over-concerned about trifles and having difficulty coping with matters and issues of the day. And those are little hanging bags of secret worries that the writer has in their mind. And you do that hanging bag of secret worries with that lining out and Xing, now you have a triple dose of the desire to self-destruct. Okay. We're, we're going to go ahead and take a break here. But first, I just want you to say, you know, if there's a parent out there, watching right now okay what can you say to them what are your tips to them right now uh I immediately immediately mark and i'm glad you asked that question because my book is for lay people and uh, uh my book is not in conflict with any type of psychiatric or psychological services i strongly desire that everybody knows different parts of my subject i say to the parents you may not be aware of impending bad behavior in your kids, but with an in-depth examination of the material that is in my book, you can raise the general level of awareness. This is your challenge, not an idea. When the handwriting is wandering helplessly throughout the writing paper, as I showed you, then the writer is wandering helplessly throughout a life of de developing depression wondering with no particular inclin inclination in mind to do anything constructive but with plenty of inclination to do something destructive as in destroying the self now parents with your knowledge of handwriting analysis you can at least take some security measures to stop the destructive behavior suicidal writing gross antisocial writing is distinctive and totally different from sensible, socially acceptable handwriting. Okay. Well, we're gonna we're gonna take a break. When we come back, we're actually going to analyze some of my handwriting a little bit later. But we're gonna go ahead and take a break right now. We're gonna talk a little bit about your background, uh, working with police, uh, and then we're gonna look at my handwriting. So stay with us. Feedback continues after the break. of the programming was made possible through a grant by Fox's Pizza Den. Fox's Pizza Den is located on Old Route 66 in Clarion and offers all-day delivery. Phone 226-5555. That's 226-5555. Fox's Pizza Den is open seven days a week for your convenience. Phone 226-5555. Wardrobe for some TV5 news anchors, provided by Fashion Bug, located in the Clarion Mall. 
Whether you're looking for junior trendy, girls, or fashion for women, they have it all, with many different styles. Fashion Bug also offers wide selection of accessories. Fashion Bug is located in McLarion Mall, just off of Exit 9 of Interstate 80. Open Monday through Saturday, 10 a.m. till 9 p.m., and Sunday from noon till 5. This portion of the program was made possible through a grant from Clarion Hospital. Clarion Hospital is located off of Exit 9 of Interstate 80. Clarion Hospital offers outpatient services, transitional care, as well as an emergency room open around the clock every day of the year. More than 400 employees and 80 physicians work to serve the community. Call the Clarion Hospital at 226-9500. Clarion Hospital, providing health care to Clarion County and surrounding communities since 1954. Do you want complete coverage of local, state, national, and international news as it happens? Then tune in to Clarion's very own TV5 News Live for complete coverage of the Clarion area and our world. TV5 News crews join with crews from the world's news leader, CNN, to provide complete coverage of the day's events. With advanced satellite capabilities, TV5 News can bring you the latest news as it happens. So tune in every Tuesday and Wednesday night for Clarion's very own TV5 News Live. Welcome back to Feedback. I'm Mark Desvedakis. We can't actually stop talking about this in the break. This is a, this is a very interesting topic, graphoanalysis. Uh, we're here with uh, Anthony Fagnelli, the author of this book, Teen Suicidal Tendencies as Revealed Through, there you go, as Revealed Through Handwriting. Um, so you got started uh, looking at handwriting when you were on the police force. When I was sworn in as a Pittsburgh police officer in March of 1953, I had always gone to school and thought or somebody's been good to me. I learned. I remember everything. Sight, smell, sound, everything. When I was on the police department after about four years, I concluded, and I hate to say this, I concluded I'm not going anywhere mm. on the police department. I didn't have no political connection. So I always went to school, but I wanted to study something different. I saw an advertisement in a pageant magazine in the year 1955, and I started to study in the year 1956, and I have been studying ever since. Now, getting back to the job business, I say this, and maybe I shouldn't be saying this, <laughs> if you go for a job in one of the 2,000 companies that use handwriting analysis in this country and in Europe in secret, discreetly and diplomatically they are going to say the interviewer is going to say to you well go ahead write something well now you know you're going to be analyzed your handwriting is going to be analyzed so are there qualified people to do that that's I mean... what i'm leading up to mark if it was me i would say go ahead examine my handwriting but i want to know the analyst credentials mm -hmm. where did the analyst study what's the analyst contributions to the betterment of American society in raising level of awareness by comparing negative writing with positive writing. Mm -hmm. Do not analyze my writing, have, do not have my handwriting analyzed by an amateur. Okay. Because but I'm coming for a job. How do we know that, though? You aren't. So we should. You aren't. So we just gotta no, deal, with <laughs> deal with it. Deal with it. Deal with it. Great. Uh, a little bit later, we are going to analyze my handwriting, but the question I asked you during the break is, you, you talked about signatures. Now, and you, you made something that, that signatures are our, that's our, that's, that's me. My signature is, yeah. is me. I mean, look at all the autograph seekers around right. the world. But, as we'll talk about later, I don't want to go too much in my writing right now, but I print generally, but my signature is in... Is it is an, I guess an attempted cursive that is is illegible. I mean, you couldn't look at it and say, "Oh, that says Mark Desvatakis." What is the difference between signature and regular writing, if there is any at all? Well, first of all, your signature is you, your character makeup. It is part of your regular writing, and your handwriting is you, your character makeup. It is your regular writing, your usual, habitual, practical way that you write signature or any letter. Mm -hmm. However in minds that are possessed of rapid fire thinking ability, excellent comprehensive thinking, quick learning, and acute agile mind while writing will will write quickly and too quickly. Well that 
fast hand cannot keep up with the rapid fire thought processes of the mind. So the hand loses its rhythm and dexterity, and the hand while writing the signature, the signature then becomes illegible. Now, I would like for everybody to know something. What's coming into vogue in our country now, we should have been coming in vogue 50 years ago. If you sign a document and your signature is illegible, that illegible signature will nullify the document it portends to put into effect. Really? The companies or anybody now want you to sign, they want you to sign slow, careful, methodical, and reveal yourself by a clear signature. Hmm. Now notice I said the word reveal with emphasis. Do you know I do not like to analyze signatures, but I'm very good at that segment of handwriting analysis. It is the signature where we can hide our intentions, where we can hide our motives, when we can hmm. strike away from ourselves to mislead other people. But I catch the hidden deceptive meaning in a hidden deceptive signature. Hmm. I don't want to go into signatures because signatures right. is really delicate matter to be talking about. But but so uh, the, the point taken here is that it, it, it is somewhat different than yes. my, you know, someone's yes. regular handwriting. Uh, yes, it is. Okay. Now, the other question is, can we take our signatures? Yes, but only for a few times. Mm. And the faking of the signature is easily detectable to a professional eye, of course, but not to an amateur eye. Mm -hmm. And honesty is always best because there's many people who study what I study in secret, and they will see that the signature is tricky, deceptive, interwind and look at here buddy they're going to say i don't think i'll hire this guy i don't like hmm. what shakespeare said in macbeth i don't like his signature mm -hmm. when the famous italian artist da vinci painted the face of somebody da vinci had that somebody's handwriting for da vinci to look at he studied handwriting analysis wow so did van gogh is that the right name for the dutch right painter? That, that, is exactly that is that's something else. That's interesting. Yes, it is. Um, oh, let's let's talk uh, briefly. You know, you worked in law enforcement. You worked in police, and that's kind of where this came out of. Uh, one thing that I was kind of curious about is, okay, you can you obviously by looking at, at writing, you can say, well, if it's downhill, that means this, you know, and so on and so forth. But is that admissible in court? Is this, is this legal? No, well, it's legal. It's legal I mean, yes, for you to do it. You know, for me, because people pay me to do psychological. I, I, I write psychological reports. Not admissible in court. However, now I hope that some of your budding attorneys are going to listen to my next statement. It's not a false statement. I suppose somebody's going to try to telephone me, and I'll <laughs> state it on the telephone. I do know this because the clubs that I belong to, there's a lot of lawyers. Now, some of the lawyers and some other people in high professional places are seeking out the services of qualified professional analysts like myself to analyze the handwriting of different people so that I will know how to approach a person. Well, that's hmm. easy to do. Now, Mark, what I do is mysterious, but no, it isn't mysterious hmm. at all. Anybody can do it. Now, I'm going to show you something. When you see a handwriting slanting, mm -hmm. I'm going to show this handwriting. If you look at that, that handwriting is slanted far out to the right, almost laying down. Mm -hmm. When you see the handwriting, hand stretched out in adoration and stretched out in generosity and stretched out from me going out to other people to sincerity, I am ruled guided and influenced by my heart in all actions, matters, judgments, and decisions. So now, somebody wants to know how to approach this writer who's writing as far, laying up to the right, approach this writer through the heart. Hmm. 
Interesting. No. You know, we're actually we're running out of time quickly. Let's can we go skip right ahead to taking a look at my hand right All right. Are you ready? I don't know if I'm ready. Well, yep. let me just explain what we did. Was we I wrote a sentence for you earlier, and then you had a chance to look at it, and now you're going to analyze my writing. Okay. I don't know if I'm ready for this. Well, yes, Mark, you are okay. ready. Okay. <laughs> now, first of all, this Mr. Mark Prince. Okay. There you now, go. Now, you are going to hear for the first time in your life why you print. Okay. I know why you print. Nobody else knows why you print, but the handwriting re will reveal. And I'm going to give myself 99 and three quarters percent accuracy on this small summation. Mark, you print because you have a fear that your handwriting may be illegible and you fear that the reader recipient of your handwritten message may not clearly understand all of the words contained within the text of the message. So what you do is you will slow down your mind, you will slow down your hand, and you will go to square has this script called print. They're in print that you know you will be clearly understood. And 99% of the people who print are honest people. When you are talking to other people, you are clear, honest, articulate, and trustworthy with your statement. Well, Mark, the people that know you for a long time, they place faith, trust, and credibility in you, your actions, and your statements. Now, for the next 15 seconds, I want to tell you why you are successful. You have your T crossings oh, are heavy. Okay. Okay. The T crossings that would be well on the print. The T crossings are heavier than the rest of the writing. Okay. Anybody who has very heavy T crossings, you know, when you bear down in life, you grasp objects firmly. You grasp the writing instrument with mental force and physical force. And when you make that teeth crossing, you bear down. Huh. Your teeth crossing is forceful dominance, indicating you have strong willpower. The power output from your will is great. You are an excellent self-starter. When you wake up in the morning, you don't need anybody to wind you up. You stick a key in here and you <laughs> wind yourself up to where? To starting to commit yourself to fulfill the day's activity, what you assign to yourself or what other people assign to you. How do you complete the activities? You drag a tremendous amount of willpower out of your system. You are loaded with willpower is your first element for success. Stay with your heavy crossings on your T-bars. Fantastic. Hey, we're out of time. Let, let me just show the book again. Uh, teen Suicidal Tendencies as Revealed Through Handwriting. Anthony Fagnelli, thank you for joining uh, us. Thank you for fascinating us. stuff. Yes. Very much enjoyed it. And the, the handwriting analysis wasn't as scary as I thought it was going to be. <laughs> um, programming note for you here. Uh, we will, feedback will not be with you tomorrow night. Uh, as you know, last week was the big Autumn Leaf Festival in town, and TV5 here did live coverage of the parade. And there you can see uh, the parade will be rebroadcast tomorrow night at 5.30 here on TV5. It'll, it's about two and a half hours, so it'll take you all the way up uh, into the time of TV5 News at 8 o'clock. So we will be back, you, back here with you next week. Thank you for joining us. Uh, have a good week. We'll see you. Stay tuned for TV5 News next. Thanks a lot.